With Bitcoin stealing the show already this year with the Bitcoin halving and the ETFs and the new price highs, feels like a while ago now. Anyway, how on earth do all these other cryptocurrencies keep up? By rebranding, of course. Remember, money is like Madonna, constantly reinventing itself for better or for worse. Anyway, so with another bull market right around the corner, we hope of course, then there's going to be a group of cryptocurrency projects that are changing things up, giving themselves a new name, a whole new luck, a whole new purpose, new features. So in this video, I'm going to break down five of the top cryptocurrency rebrands that are happening right now so that you can stay on top of the market movement, stay on top of the trends as we go into the next phase of the cryptocurrency cycle. Why? Because rebrandings can be pretty damn bullish short-term catalysts for coins. So pay attention and stick around until later in the video where I'm going to be revealing the altcoin rebrand that I feel like the crypto community has been begging for for quite a long time. So we'll get into that. But first up, let's talk about Frontier rebranding to self chain. Now, Frontier is a non-custodial wallet for storing, staking, and exchanging cryptocurrency tokens and NFTs. The rebrand has been in the works since the end of 2022, and it aims to address different challenges with traditional cryptocurrency wallets, like losing your seed phrase, for example. You're losing your private keys, having to manage your damn private keys in the first place. Therefore, the new self chain has been designed to simplify the user experience with solutions like keyless wallets without compromising, of course, on security. Very, very important, obviously. The community voted 100% in favor of this rebrand and the self chain mainnet actually launched on Frontier at the end of April. Now, as for what this means for the token, the front token ticker will be changed over to SLF to reflect the new name self chain and tokens will be migrated over at a one to one ratio. The new self token will be the chain's primary token, which secures the chain and thus pays for transaction fees. Now, the initial supply at mainnet launch is 360 million SLF tokens split across these categories, 28% being allocated to validator nodes, 25% allocated to the token migration, 19% allocated to the ecosystem, 10% allocated to equity investors, 10% allocated to foundation nodes, and 8% allocated to the team. Now, if you hold any front tokens, there is a dedicated swap portal to help migrate over to the self token. Token holders on centralized exchanges, you will need to wait for support to be integrated or to withdraw to a non-custodial wallet and then migrate over again manually using that portal. Although I think a lot of exchanges will be supporting this migration in the future, so keep an eye out for that. By the way, by the way, very important, I own the coins being discussed here today. If you want full portfolio disclosures, please see the link in the description. You see my current holdings, my private sale investments, all that kind of stuff. You'll also find that in the pinned tweet over on X. Furthermore, I would like to highlight altcoin investing is risky you can lose all your money, okay? The risks that I take are not necessarily the risks that you should take. So please also read the full risk statement that's located on my portfolio page. Thank you very much. Okay, next, let's talk about Orion rebranding to Lumia. Orion is a liquidity aggregator on Ethereum. It was originally created to bring together liquidity from both decentralized and centralized exchanges. But as the markets have matured, the team had bigger dreams beyond just being a DeFi aggregator. So Lumia has been designed to not only bring together liquidity on exchanges, but from layer ones and layer two blockchains as well. Now Lumia will become the first ever hyper liquid restake roll up layer two blockchain. I know that's a lot to process, but they're doing big things. It'll be powered by the Orion token. The platform's restaked modular design is powered by Polygon's chain development kit and Eigenlayer's data availability solutions, which will thus give users fast finality and reduced fees all whilst scaling to meet new demand. Now, over 90% of the community voted in favor of this rebranding, which will see the Orion 
token migrate from its ORN token to the LUMIA Lumia token. The team shared an update back in May that the timing of the token swap will be aligned with the upcoming launch of its Lumia testnet alpha. Token holders will have to sit tight, though, and wait for more details on this one. So stay tuned. Now, the next rebrand. This is one that the crypto community has been waiting for for quite a while, for years even. But before I reveal what it is, let me interrupt the flow real quick because I want to tell you about the best damned newsletter in the cryptocurrency business. That happens to be my newsletter. I know I'm slightly biased, but it's really awesome. Our readers love it. I'm sure you will as well. And it's called Wealth Mastery. Every week, my team and I work hard to bring you the latest and the greatest and the best insights in the market. We cover airdrops, meme coins, altcoins, DeFi, charts, Bitcoin, a lot of stuff. Look, I get it. Life's busy, okay? You've are you got your wife, got the kids, you got the dog, all that kind of stuff. But you still want to stay ahead of the curve in crypto? We can join 135,000 plus weekly readers and sign up for free using the link down below in the description. Or you can find it over in the pinned comment on X. Okay, so let's talk about Phantom, the spooky ghost. <laughs> anyway, the Haunted House theme was fun for a hot minute when the network was new, right? We liked that, that spooky swap and all that stuff. But it's got to go if it wants to be taken seriously, right? Thankfully, this Layer 1 blockchain is rebranding from Phantom to Sonic. Now, it is a much-needed rebrand that I believe will focus on bringing some new energy in, of course, faster transaction speeds, improved DeFi support, all the fun stuff you'd expect from a technical rebrand. Sonic will be a new layer one network with a layer two bridge connecting to Ethereum and other networks, as well as launching new features like liquid staking and a shared sequencer for layer one and layer two chains. Now, the upgrade is expected to support over 180 million transactions daily with immediate confirmation, which is 10 times its current capabilities. Now they just have to find the users, obviously. Now, similar to other rebrands, Phantom's FTM token will be migrating over to the ticker S at a one-to-one -one swap ratio. Phantom has already allocated up to 200 million FTM tokens worth around $120 million at the time of recording in order to help developers and companies to migrate over to the new network. Now, the new Sonic token will feature an extra allocation of tokens dedicated to a community airdrop in order to drive community engagement on the Sonic blockchain. The upgrade is expected to go live in the next month or two. So keep an eye out for that over the summer. And they also have big meme coin stuff and whatever going on. So lots to watch out for. Now, this next rebrand comes from an ecosystem that flies kind of under the radar at the moment. That's Polkadot. Polkadot's smart contracts parachain Moonbeam is rebranding itself to Moonrise. Gaming, DeFi, real world assets, Deepin. Okay. Moonbeam has it all. And if it wants to become a real contender in the Web3 space, then it needs to step up the game here and compete. So Moonbeam's 2024 roadmap is all about these three things, performance, scalability, and leadership. The upgrade to Moonrise will see an 800% increase in its transaction throughput potential and six second block times whilst also quadrupling block capacity. The transition to Moonrise is going to be spread right out throughout the year and going into 2025. And as part of the Moonrise rebrand, the Moonbeam Foundation is actually going to be allocating $10 million to Moonbeam's newly established innovation fund, which will be you know, focused on all the fun stuff, advancing gaming, advancing real world assets, its sister parachain, of course, Moon River over on Kusama Network as well. We'll get some love. And whilst there doesn't appear to be any changes to Moonbeam's Glimmer token from a trading perspective, it's under the hood where the change is actually happening at a technical level. And of course, with a refocus on branding. Now, by the end of 2024, Moonbeam is hoping to have better integrations with Ethereum and to have improved cross-chain capabilities to be able to, of course, encourage more of those Web3 developers to come and play around within the ecosystem. Then, 
Last but not least, definitely not least, Covalent, which just unveiled its brand new look a couple of weeks ago under its new Dawn umbrella. So Covalent is an AI modular data infrastructure. AI was very hot. It's going to be very hot again. Hear me now, quote me later. Anyway, it's in its final stage of transformation through its new Dawn initiative. The rebrand is a series of network upgrades that are designed to strengthen the brand and to position itself as a leader in the data availability and the decentralized AI space. Now, as part of the rebrand, Covalent has launched its new ecosystem airdrop program with the first shortlist of tokens coming from long-term partners, Tyco and ZK Sync. Now, Covalent also recently introduced its Ethereum Wayback Machine, making all Ethereum ecosystem data available so that AI developers and users can actually access all on-chain history. The rebrand is also helping to grow the ecosystem with Covalent recently closing a $5 million strategic funding round aimed at expanding its operations in Asia to boost up its long-term data availability in China, Korea, Singapore, and beyond. Now, co-founder of crypto exchange BitMEX, Arthur Hayes, has also joined the Covalent team as a strategic advisor, and he's got a lot of influence in the crypto space. So he plans on helping the team with everything from revamping tokenomics to market positioning, and of course, the business model itself. So when it comes to staking on Covalent, the plan is to migrate back to Ethereum in order to streamline the process of being able to earn emission yields to re-incentivize operators and to help the delegates as well. Obviously, pending the approval of a governance vote for all this stuff, right? Okay, so that's it. Look, there's a ton of exciting launches coming up. There's lots of exciting things going on in the market, but these rebrands are definitely something to keep an eye on. And let me know if you're excited about any of these rebrands in particular, and I'll see you in the next video.